Let's talk about thing. <laughs> the thing move is a very simple move. You're basically distinguishing some new thing, anything. But the, the hardest part of the move is understanding how universal it is to everything, no pun intended. Um, you can't think anything without distinguishing something. And so it really is a very simple move, but it's beneath the simplicity of the move belies a lot of complexity. And we're hopefully going to get into a little bit of that today. Well, so it makes me think about when somebody says, let's think about something. Yeah. It literally means something. Something. So let's yeah, bring a thing exactly. into existence. So, for example, when we find new animals or organisms or things. Species. Things. Yeah. We can name a new species. We yeah. can distinguish the new species. Yeah, you find some new little, I don't know, some critter. fish or critter or something like that. That's a fish, believe it or not. That's a beautiful fish. And, and it's your job, because you found it, to name the genus and the species. And the only rule is that you have to have a completely unique genus and species. It has to be different from any other organism that exists. And you get to name it, so you might name it like Homo. If you found it, it'd be like Homo Lorensis or something oh, like that. that. You could call we it Homo Lorensis. Homo Lorensis. Yes, exactly. That's but you'd have to check species. and make sure nobody else had called it Homo Lorensis. Isn't that obvious? Exactly. There's not, there, there's so there now isn't. we now we now have a new species, a new thing called Homo Lorensis, which is this little fish right here. So you so you use hair. the thing move. To distinguish new things, things yes. that haven't previously been distinguished by somebody before. Exactly. But if you remember, my favorite children's book from Andrew Clements. Frindle. Frindle. Yes. That was a story of thing that already had a name, was distinguished, which was a pen. A pen, yeah. And the remember, kid to Nick, the it. main character, went on this sort of um, quest to figure out how to give it a new name or and really distinguish upset it his teacher that, along the way if i remember did. correctly and thus we had the word frindle frindle yeah so he named renamed a pen to frindle and then he got all his classmates to use it I'm use not going to spoil the end right? of the book so that's sort of taking the the same distinction which is a pen and just renaming it so there's distinguishing the pen and then giving it a label is kind of part of the distinguishing, but it's not the whole thing. The, the recognition of the pen is, uh, and the distinguishing pens from pencils and from sticks and things right. like that uh, is really the distinguishing act. Well, okay, so I know there have been times when we're working with groups yeah. and we're trying to figure out parts of systems and, and things that are in there, mm -hmm. and sometimes, there's a thing that doesn't actually have a name yet. Right. And so we'll put a placeholder yeah. name. We'll say like sploof or, or zoomer or fluffin. Or fluffin so or whatever. talk about the importance of of having distinguishing something that doesn't that exists but doesn't previously have a name. Yeah, when when we start to recognize that something exists, then we're bringing that thing into existence and we're we're thingifying it. Right. Mm -hmm. We're creating that's the thing move is thingifying some new thing. And um, and we might not even have a label for it, but we're all distinguishing the same thing. Like so sometimes even when you're developing products, you might come up with a product like a code name for the product. Do you know that that's right. not going to be the real name, but it's like a placeholder. But everybody knows that it's, you know, this this software code name, you know, right. But Snowflake the, or something like the that. The placeholder distinction or name that we give it to me is cognitively important because then everybody has the same idea yep. because it's been distinguished it's become yeah. a thing even if it has a nonsensical name is that yeah in fact the great it? uh child psychologist piaget said right. he had a famous thing that he said which is that children are like little label guns that go around the world labeling everything giving things names bringing thingness to things and a big Part of the work of children is is learning all the new names for things and how things are distinguished. 
Interesting. So it's a simple move. It's a very simple move, deceivingly so. But it's got big meaning, right? Yeah, it, it, being able to unthing your things and being able to challenge the distinctions you're making is absolutely critical to being creative and innovative and discovery and being able to use things in ways that are different from perhaps the ways that they're normatively used. Mm -hmm. And so if you're trying to solve a problem and you don't have a screwdriver or something like that, well, you can look around and find something that maybe isn't a screwdriver but could be used like a screwdriver or something like that. That's thing move. It's a simple move, but it's it re you really can't do anything without it. That's everything. That's everything. Yeah.